Hello guys, today we will learn how to analyze the balance sheet based on common size or vertical analysis approach in Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so to analyze the balance sheet, first we have to take a balance sheet data as a question. Okay, so here we have a six years balance sheet data. Okay, having the different component of assets and equity and liabilities, you can see here. All right. So based on this, uh, you know, information or balance sheet, we can prepare the common size balance sheet. Okay. So without spending more time, let's get started. All right. Here we can see that this is our questions area that I have just copied from sheet 2 to sheet 3 and this is the our calculation area where we will calculate the percentage of component of assets and component of equities and liabilities respectively okay so before i start to calculate it i would like to tell you what is common size balance sheet so basically the common size balance sheet is a statement that shows the percentage relation of each assets that is this one or equity and liability that is this one to the total assets that is this one or and total equities and liabilities okay in other words we can say that the common value common size balance sheet represents both numerical values that is years and relative percentage for total assets and total equity and liabilities okay so now let's start to calculate the percentage of all the component of assets and equity and liabilities respectively okay so first i'm going to click here and now press the press the equal to sign and now click this one divide by this one and now before pressing the enter key let's uh, you know fix this uh, row by uh, by pressing dollar sign so i'm going to press shift dollar sign from the keyboard and now press the enter key and make sure that you have you know changed the format from general to percentage in this selected area i have already you know changed the format from general to percentage so that the value is showing in percentage form you can see here if you don't know then you can you know change by clicking on percentage form okay and uh, increase the decimal up to two two decimal places by using this tab all right okay so for here uh now let's you know select this one and now put the cursor here and uh, drag from left to right okay and now uh, select all these you know range and drag down all right okay now click here and uh, just select this uh, range and press the delete key from your keyboard to delete the value from this row because there is no any item showing here all right now let's remove the bold area from these sections so first select this range and press ctrl b to remove the bold and select this range okay and now press ctrl b to remove the bold now for uh, total assets just simply select the range from here to here you can select any range from uh, 2021 to 2026 column okay from the assets section and uh, paste it here okay so i'm going to you know select this one and now i'm going to copy it by pressing the ctrl c and now click here and now press ctrl v to paste it now you can see that the border has been removed because there is no border appeared here so that the border has been removed all right because we have copied from this section all right so to uh, you know add the border first select this range and press ctrl b to bold it and uh, here i'm going to use shortcut key from the keyboard so uh, you can uh, use it so i'm going to press alt h b d all right you can see okay so now for equity and liability section you can uh we can calculate it same as this section okay so here i'm going to just uh, select from here to here and now press ctrl c to copy it now click here and now press ctrl v to paste it all right now click here and just go to the formula bar and now let's change this uh, cell reference from c16 to c30 okay so for here for this i'm uh, going to directly uh, 
uh, drag this cell from here to here with the help of mouse okay and I'll press the tab all right now click here and just drag from here to here and here to here all right now let's uh, you know delete this range okay and this range because there is no any honor security items and liabilities items okay now let's remove the bold okay so to do this let's press the control D similarly for this one just select this one and let's remove remove it so I'm going to press control B and now similarly for this one press control B to remove it and here I'm going to you know bold this one because liabilities is uh, showing in bold form so the value should also be showing in the bold form so I'm going to press control B to bold it all right now for uh, to, uh, total equity and liability section, we can, you know, calculate it by copy this range or any range from these, you know, sections, okay. So I'm going to co copy this range by pressing the control C and I'll click here and I'll press control V to paste it. All right, now let's, uh, uh, you know, add the border and make the values in uh, bold form. Okay, so, so for this, press ctrl b to bold it first and now let's use the shortcut key from the keyboard so press alt h b t and you can see all right okay so we are successfully calculated all the assets equity and liabilities component value in percentage form or okay now you can interpret the result based on calculated value so guys it's a very easy that's all for now thanks for watching this video if you find it useful please Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel see you in the next video of this series signing off